The Niger Security and Civil Defense Corps for Kaduna State on Tuesday raised two rehabilitation home for Zaria, Zaria local government area of the state. For the center, when we say that they call Malama Liu, my Adakani salute for child for Zaria, now they take save 11 inmates, when we say plenty of them be men and children. The two centers, a day for Limanchi, Kona, and Manmara, and all day Zaria local government area of the state. Just like before for the centers inside Regasa, the Zara Rehabilitation Center in Oge Women Inmates. Deputy Commandant of the Niger Security and Civil Defense Corps, Kaduna State Command, Nega Aloysius Oyema, when we say parry the owners of the centers, he still say three inmates die because of the unbearable condition for the center. The raid for illegal rehabilitation home is start weeks after police saved 300 inmates from one center inside the same Regasa area of the Kaduna State. Then she not the inmate for the Zara leg and hand. Uh, the NSCDC Oga say they saved the level inmate as they follow one intelligence report when said the police them, they gather. He said the inmates date between the ages of 11 and 40 years. This is the third one we've heard about. Okay. Um, I think they estimated about 10 million students in the Islamic education system. So I think with those type of numbers, I would think you need to look deeper, you need to dig deeper. Um, and I also think you also need to prosecute um, the perpetrators of these acts because I think, again, it's part of the, there need to be consequences for these things. So I think if people can see that there's, pros there's prosecution, I think it would serve as a deterrent. Are these rehabilitation centers, Islamic rehabilitation centers, necessary, or we need more psychiatric hospitals? Um, I think we need more psychiatric hospitals. I think parents cannot just outsource these problems to religious um, leaders. I think religion is fine, but I don't think it's a. Um, I don't think in this context it's the magic bullet. I think. It needs to be something with a more medical um, foundation. What punitive measures do you think will be appropriate for people, especially the ones so far accused of sexual harassment on some of the inmates in their care? Joe, yeah. <laughs> you should take them to court. Um, they should be prosecuted. And if they're found guilty, they should go to jail and face the music.